Hello friends, I'm Chris and welcome to another video. As the iPhone 13 started to ship to our friends in the US and other countries, initial reviews and impressions from creators and media also went live. While we're waiting for these iPhones to be officially available here in the Philippines, I've compiled 13 unexpected details about the iPhone 13 that I've learned from watching a lot of these actual real-world use videos so you don't have to. And also to save you some time. And stick till the end cause the last one's really sneaky. Let's get into it! Let's start on the front. Reviewers say that the notch looks a lot smaller than the 20% less that's advertised by Apple but it's a tiny bit taller. In fact, this actually cuts into your videos when watching on landscape mode. The iPhone 13 Pro's screen now have a max 1200 nits of brightness and almost all of the reviewers echo the same thing that it really does look noticeably brighter when used outdoors. As someone who hasn't really used a fast refresh screen, I'm really excited for this one. They all said that it's a huge improvement and that the 120Hz display's smooth like butter screen makes the 13 Pros look and feel a lot faster than the standard 13 and 13 mini. In connection to that new 120Hz display, some apps aren't optimized and aren't taking advantage of this promotion feature just yet. This isn't much of a problem as they'll be updated soon. This is something Apple didn't mention and is more like an easter egg. We now know that there are new live wallpapers included with the iPhone 13s and 13 Pros which look really nice. An improvement you can definitely hear according to Max Tech and Matthew Monis are the new speakers. They say that it sounds noticeably better and louder than before. Another thing I noticed from these videos are that the earpiece are larger too. Looking at the sides of this year's Pro phones, they seem to have moved down the buttons a little bit. As compared here, the power button on the right and the volume buttons on the left are lower than last year's iPhone 12 Pros. Meanwhile, on the 13 Pro Max, they are a little bit higher. This year, Apple offered a new midnight colorway for the standard 13 and 13 mini. In this unboxing and impressions videos, we can clearly see some blue tints here. So if you love your blacks as much as I do, this is something you need to take note of. We expect camera improvements every year from iPhones, but this year, we aren't just getting a better camera, we're getting a bigger camera. A really huge one as compared to these videos. They even protrude so much so that they wobble a lot. Another concern on those huge camera bumps, the 13 Pro is also having trouble fitting perfectly even on Apple's own MagSafe Duo charger. Thanks to MKBHD testing this out, it still technically works but you might want to rethink about getting this charger or wait until Apple releases an updated version if it bothers you. Camera bumps aside, I think those were all well compensated by the image quality you get from them. As echoed by almost all these channels, these are the best iPhone cameras yet. The new cinematic mode will still have some fringing works generally well. Macro mode is impressive and I think will be useful for both photos and videos and night mode in the telephoto and ultra wide is better than before. Even with all those camera and performance improvements across the board, these reviewers confirmed that the 13s really do last longer throughout the day thanks to the new larger batteries. The 1.5 to 2.5 hours more juice claimed by Apple seems legit. A typical use day will give you around 5 hours of screen time on the standard 13, 6 to 7 hours for the 13 Pros, and a mind-blowing 8 hours for the 13 Pro Max was achieved by your average consumer. Mr. Who's the Boss also did his famous battery test and got almost 10 hours from the 13 Pro Max. To close this list off, it's the weight gains from this year's iPhones. Almost all of them agreed that the additional heft is noticeable especially on the largest 13 Pro Max. Oh, and one more thing, MaxTech also found out that whilst Apple gave you a 128GB storage as the entry point for this year's regular iPhone 13 and 13 mini, they offer significantly slower read speeds compared to last year's 12s. 
there you have it guys 13 real world details of the iphone 13s from my favorite creators that already experienced these devices are you excited for these new iphones let me know in the comments below here's 13 things apple didn't tell you about the iphone 13 from their california streaming event hope this video helped you in some way if you're planning to upgrade please give this video a like for it to reach more people looking for the same type of info i'll appreciate it a lot if you'll consider subscribing as i have more tech related content lined up for you thank you so much for your time watching and hope to see you in the next one ingat <laughs>